What's going on everyone? Eddie Martinez here with The Recording Connection and welcome to your supplemental video for lesson number four, Microphone Basics. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so we're about to cover four topics in this video, so remember to take plenty of notes. Let's go ahead and start by titling your notes at the top of the page, Lesson 4 Video Notes. And go ahead and put four bullet points on your page, but make sure you separate each bullet point around four or five lines apart, which is a good enough space for each topic. Okay, so here are the four subjects that we're going to talk about. Uh, bullet point one, how microphones work. Okay, bullet point number two, microphone types. Bullet point number three, powered microphones. And then bullet point number four will be microphone pattern types. All right, then let's jump right into it. So how do microphones work? Well, microphones are transducers, which is a device that converts energy from one form to another. Microphones convert acoustic energy or acoustical energy sound waves into electrical energy which is, um, you know, the audio signal. So there are a bunch of different microphones out there, but they all have one thing in common, a thin piece of material called the diaphragm. Now the diaphragm can be made up of different materials like paper, plastic, or aluminum. Now the diaphragm will vibrate when it's struck by sound waves. When sound waves strike a microphone's diaphragm, they cause it to move within an electromagnetic field, which in turn creates a variance in an electrical current. This signal is then transmitted to output devices which reproduce the original sound wave. All right, let's go ahead and cover microphone types. So there are three most commonly used microphone types out there. I'm gonna cover uh, ribbon mics, dynamic mics, and condenser mics. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about ribbon mics. So ribbon mics are typically bi-directional which we'll get into in a little bit, but essentially what this means is that they pick up sound equally well on either side of the microphone. This type of microphone uses a thin aluminum, duraluminum, or nanofilm ribbon placed between poles of a magnet to generate voltages by electromagnetic induction. Ribbon microphones are fragile and actually can get pretty expensive. Here's a common microphone that you might uh, recognize. It's a MXL R144 ribbon microphone. Let's go ahead and talk about dynamic microphones. So dynamic microphones have a thin diaphragm that's hung by suspension wires. Uh, this is relatively an inexpensive uh, microphone option out there. It's usually used for live performances. And here's a very common one that you might recognize, the Shure SM58. Okay guys, let's go ahead and talk about the condenser microphone. So the condenser microphone has a diaphragm separated by carbon that acts as a capacitor. Now, a capacitor is a thing that stores electric energy. The condenser microphone stores and releases the electronic signals when the diaphragm vibrates. A common microphone model that you might recognize is the Audio-Technica AT2020 condenser microphone. All right, guys, let's go ahead and talk about powering a microphone. Batteries can actually power a microphone, or maybe the device that it's plugged into can also power it as well. Now, the other type of power that's out there is something called phantom power. Now this is a power that runs from the cable hooked up to a power pack just for the microphone. Uh, usually condenser mics will use phantom power. Okay guys, let's go ahead and cover microphone pattern types. So there are actually a few different microphone pattern types out there. Let's go over the three most common ones. The first one we'll talk about is unidirectional pattern type. Now this is actually a pattern type that will pick up sound only in one direction and it's actually really good for recording single voices. So the next pattern type we'll talk about is something called bi-directional and this will actually pick up sound from two places. It's actually really great for recording two voices at the same time. And the last pattern type we'll talk about is called omnidirectional. Now this picks up sound in all directions. Okay guys, that's all the video I have for you today. This has been Eddie Martinez with The Recording Connection. And if you want a little bit more, don't forget to check out Music is My Oxygen for all the things that you love about music. And I'll catch you guys on the next video.